Good morning, everybody. It's Chad from Nature Box Pet Emporium. Getting my bagel and my tea. We're headed to the airport. It's about 7.45. And uh, our first real shipment of fish is here. Gonna get a non-flattering angle at the moment. Gotta lock the door behind me. Um, so yeah, we got our first shipment of, uh, of fish into the store. And when I say first shipment, I mean like our first air quotes, like real shipment. Uh, so it's, it's our first like big one. We've gotten a handful of, of fish orders that might have like a hundred fish in them or something, or just a really small number, but we're on the way to the airport to get our first big one. I think we have, I want to say we have like 17 boxes. So this is like our initial stocking. It's the big one. I'm going to go to the airport, check it out. We'll come back. We'll see what they look like. Beautiful, that's it, man. Thank you, brother. Yep. All right, guys, so here is our shipment of fish. We got ourselves a crud ton of fish there. So, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 boxes of fish straight from Florida to beautiful Denver, Colorado. Let's get these back to the store. We'll check and make sure the heat packs are good, make sure the fish are good, and we will throw in the tanks. And also, as I know some of you guys are probably wondering, no, I did not leave that pallet of fish in the uh, in the back of the truck. <clears throat> they are in the back of the truck, in the cab, as well as on the side of the truck, but no, it is uh, currently 20, 25 degrees outside, so do not sure. want to leave all of those tropical or warm water fish, uh, even even despite the fact that they're in insulated boxes with heat packs. Don't want to uh, don't want to leave them out in the freezing cold because that just ain't cool. So we're on the back on our way back to the store, and uh, like I said before, we'll uh, we'll get them all packed up, and we'll uh, we'll show you guys. Three, two, one, action. All right, so Chad's back from the airport with boxes and boxes of fish. We're gonna do a short unboxing video. Box one. Pretty heavy on Central and South American stuff this time, so we should have some good catfish and cichlids in here. Now let's take a look. So this is one of our few African cichlids, so Trophius de Boise. They're pretty little. I don't know if you can pick them up on camera. We have some shrimps, some nice fire red shrimp. The bag's a little bit deflated on that one, but they all look all right. Big to catfish. Can't really go wrong with big to catfish. There we go. Some of our clown knife fish. They all look pretty pale in the bag, but they color up really, really nice. High finned platies. These guys are probably one of my favorite platies. That big old top sail fin is just really nice. Really classic fish. So we did get our red-headed geophaga, geophagus in. Uh, and these guys can't see any red in the bag, but they color up beautifully. Those are one of the ones that I was real excited about. I know a few of you are waiting on those as well. So there they are, they look good. We'll get them acclimated today. Burmese Bodia. See them in there, they color up real nice. Hope you get rid of any snail issue. Good scavenger fish. <laughs> Rubber plecos. Look at those guys. Otherwise known as bulldog plecos. They have little rounded snouts. A good kind of medium sized pleco. They don't get uh, quite as massive as the common pleco, um, but not quite as little as the little bristle nose either. Box two. For two, heat pack is good. Let's see, oh, here we are. So this guy is one of our freshwater flounder. So they were collected in pure fresh water near Iquitos, Peru. Um, they'll move in between fresh and brackish, so just be prepared to provide a little bit more of a brackish environment, but these particular ones were from pure fresh water. So pretty darn neat, that guy, and a good size too. He was the size of my hand. 
bettas are clouded archer fish. That's a good looking little fish. Tiger shovel nose. Yeah, a monster. Yeah, it will become a monster. This is just a cute little baby version. Huh. And then uh, these must be our our big old big old bushy nose plecos. So this size bushy nose are almost full grown. Can you see them in there? They're a good four or five inches already. Box three. There we go. Ooh, a little bit of water on this one. Ah, feeder guppies. Box Whole box of ghost shrimp and bloodworms. Box five. He packs good. He packs are good. Look how nice they pack these, nice and symmetrical, so that the fish aren't getting splashed around. Ah yes. So these, they don't look like much in the bag, but these are red panda barbs. These are going to color really pretty in the tanks. Some Burmese sun catfish. Again, a nice kind of medium sized catfish. So, Melanistis Cories. Um, I forget the common name for these. But they have a cool little black bandit marking over the eyes and then a little white stripe behind it. So, they're pretty neat. Albino Cory catfish. Staple. There we go, this one, uh, this one's kind of deflated a little bit, but they all look good. So these are the Habrosis, the salt and pepper cori catfish. So they're a type of pygmy corridors. Really neat fish, good scavengers. Peacock eels. One of these guys, we have, uh, we have some sandy bottom tanks. We're gonna put these guys in. It'll be fun to watch them hunt when they puff their little noses above the sand. Some nice African butterflies. Golden dojo loaches. We have a couple different uh, bags of Endler's live bears in here. So here's one. Looks like we got some reds and a little, so. Six. The backs look good. They do. Mm. Box looks good. Everything's still nice and warm. Considering too that it's 25 degrees outside, so. Yes. Some green Severum cichlids. Call these the poor man's discus because when they get full grown, they have that same circular body shape at a price point of around eight bucks. Oh, that guy. So these are albino paradise garami. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. Those are cool. The, the paradise garami is nice. They get four to six inches. So again, a nice kind of medium sized. Some honey garamis, kind of a smaller garami. I mean, garamis are just fantastic for most community or some aggressive tanks. So they will attack each other. So generally one garami per tank. Long slim blue danio, very fast moving schooly fish. Some smaller bushy nose plecos, little albinos. So these little five inch bushy nose we pulled earlier. Yeah. Got some larger albino bushy nose. Nice. So again, lots of lots of good scavengers. Giant Danios, good dither fish for cichlid tanks. A couple bucks a piece, get a big school of them. Makes your cichlids uh, more confident. Opaline Garami. Opaline Garami actually get pretty decent size. I see them at five, six inches and you know, pretty wide. 
So keep that in mind for appointment with any neon tetras. So these are American flag fish. Box seven. Oh man. Here we got some cichlids. They're going crazy. They say Salvini cichlid. That one's a really pretty South American cichlid. Upside down catfish. Good ones. Yep, these are these are the true upside down catfish, not the Cynodontus feather fins. Those are actually somewhere in this order as well. So we have blushing white skirt tetras. These guys get nice and pink on the sides. Fire mouth cichlids. Some are Jack Dempsey's. So one of my favorites, the Celebes rainbow fish. Now this is pretty close to full grown size for these guys, but they just have such ornate fins and such a cool yellow color. Some common pluckos, of course. Bala sharks. Box number eight. Ooh. Let's see what we have here. We have our our mystery snails, some of our purple apple snails. What kind of snails are those? It's a mystery. <laughs> some of our near right snails it looks like. Ooh. These must be our albino clown knife fish. And oh, so this looks good size. What, 10, 12 inches? Our Delhezy biker. Oh, this one might be spoken for already. If not, you'll find it available here. Blood parrots, box nine. Let's see. Yeah, they did a really good job packing all these. So this must be our Ollie cichlid. We got a few Africans this time. But we can really stock up on the African stuff, some of the catfishes and cichlids. Oh, one little, one little floater, albino tiger barb. Some electric blue hapachromis. Diamonds tetras. Not much to look at in the bag, but when they color up, they get nice and shiny. <laughs> Our orange rabbit snails. These ones are fun. So is this? Our electric blue rams. Nice. White Mickey Mouse platies. Hard to go wrong with platies. Ooh. And we got here our big old black belt cichlid. Some German blue rams. Looks like some more hapochromis. I like how they pack the hapochromis individually because they tend to tear each other up in the bags. Veil tail cherry barbs. Those guys are nice. Ghost sharks, um, similar to the red tail shark, but these should be solid, deep black. Really pretty. Only a couple bucks. And we got our red tail sharks. Box 10. What could it be? What could it be? Ooh. Ah. Fish. Ah. 
So these must be our spotted rubber lip plecos. Oh, they're sweet. Uh, they get uh, spots. Surprise. But they're actually kind of a pretty algae eater. Some male guppies. They're fancy. Uh, bleeding heart tetras. Ooh, nice size bleeding heart tetras. Real good size. Yeah, they have some color on them even in the bag, so those are all real nice once they color up. More guppies? Yep. Cobra guppies, uh, tornado guppies. Ah, yes, a few things that I'm especially excited for. Hmm. Hmm, what could they be? Fish. Oh, Royal Farloella catfish. Make sure they're the true royals. Hard to tell in the bag, but it's looking promising. Those came in pretty big. Right? Yeah. Those usually uh, come in small. Yeah, those are really, really nice. They make good scavengers. You gotta have driftwood in the tank for those, though. That's the key. So we got some pike cichlids. And some more common plecos. Alright, so we got some veil tail angelfish. And those actually look pretty nice. Good fin. Nice colors. Let's see. So this is Gertrude's spotted rainbow, sometimes known as the spotted blue-eyed rainbow. Again, kind of silver in the bag, but the fins on the males are very ornate. Great for nanotanks, so they spend a lot of time displaying for the females in their tank. So don't just get males. Looks like more flagfish. Neon tetras. Little guys. So and these are these are Florida bred neon tetras. So true captive bred neons. So they should be even a little. They should be sturdy. Some cats are those. So this is the iridescent shark. Ooh. Not a cat at all. <laughs> well, well, technically a cat, but very shark-like. They do get blue size. Nice. Electric blue jackadempsies. Is this 12 or is this 12? Box 12. I feel like we missed a box somewhere. No, you just don't know how to count. Uh, that may be the case. I get so excited. Just forget my numbers. Clown plecos. Nice. Some gold algae eaters. Um, these guys do a fantastic job eating algae when they're little, but they kind of slack off around four or five inches. So, I forget the cut. Skunk Cory's common name are Arcadis, Cory catfish. Uh, in any case, quarry cats are good for almost anybody's tank, and they keep all that junk out of your gravel. So here's more of our endlers. Those are really nice. So Showing again, blue color already on them. Mm-hmm. Let's see. This must be. Um, oh, our true pygmy quarries. Look how little they are. Sea pygmaeus. They're so cute. Our leopard leaf fish. Look at how cute those wow, are. Wow, those are really nice. Bumblebee catfish. Um, this is the species of bumblebee cat that should only get two to three inches, so great for little community tanks. Nice, uh, bright gold and black. That's like a bumblebee. Alright, so banjo catfish. These guys are just kind of an unusual little medium-sized catfish. Very flat body shape. And then these must be our autos. Auto sinkless. In a bag that's sprung a leak. Ah. Lucky number box 13. 
Right, whew, we're on box 55. Oh, so many fish. All right, box 13. Oh, oh. There we are. Oh, well. Here's our true upside down catfish. How oh, that means the other ones must be the feather fins. Well, in either case, we have both. Some jewel cichlids. Can't really go wrong with jewel cichlids. African cichlids. This red flake Africans. Serpe tetras. Mm -hmm. These must be more of our little neon tetras, our little Florida bred neons. A lot of these tetras are Florida bred, which is uh, pretty neat. Here we go. Another one of my favorites, dwarf neon rainbows. Kind of a, a smaller sized rainbow fish, great for a lot of community tanks, planted tanks. They look really great in. So they call these the false red terror. Uh, Mayan cichlid is another common name for these guys. As the name suggests, they do get really pretty red. And like most Central and South Americans, a good, good size. So I plan to have a big tank. Another type of African, uh, I can never pronounce this, Asai, ACI. One of those. As it looks like we have a long day ahead of us acclimating these fish to our tanks. Um, it takes them a few days to really color up and show their full potential, so make sure to come check them out this weekend. Um, everything you see here looks really good, so it all should be available and ready to go this weekend. If you like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Um, shop online at nagerboxpet.com, and have a great day. You got these,